So we're here at the IDTech X show um, here in Berlin, um, and we're here with Tegway. Perhaps you can yeah, tell us a little bit yes. about your company and, and what you're showing here. Yeah, uh, Tegway makes a flexible thermoelectric device. Uh, flexible thermoelectric device make uh, electrical power from a uh, hot source. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in, the, in most of the factories, it has a, a steam pipe. Steam pipe surface temperature is very high. Mm -hmm. So this is just suppose that uh, steam pipe. Right now, this pipe is a degree uh, 60 degree of Celsius, the hot temperature. But our device is in, in between uh, this heat sink and uh, this pipe. So right now, our device make uh, electrical power of uh, 300 milliwatts. Right. So there is there uh, we can uh, we uh, connect to some s sensors on here. So we can use this power, the sensor data transmit to here, receiving and we displaying the data here. So what sort of data in this example? What data yeah, would you collect? So temperature and the gas and uh, humidity. Okay. Right. So the humidity, different gas sensors, yes, and then temperature. The, the temperature of the yeah. pipe and of the yes. ambient temperature. There is a no electrical power supply. There is a no battery. Only uh, we use uh, electrical power generated from this uh, device. Okay. And then this structure here is the heat sink. So yes, you're keeping that's the system. temperature gradient. Temperature gradient. Between, yes, is system. correct. Okay. <laughs> And this is a, this is the other version, the version that it's shown off the pipe. Conventional. Actually, okay. thermoelectric device, conventional, this conventional one. Mm -hmm. This is planar type. Sure. It's very hard. But right. most of heat source just cover the surface. This mm -hmm. is so when we put on the surface, we can get, uh, we cannot get good thermal contact. It's bad. Okay. But our device is flexible, so we can lab easily, so we can get good thermal contacts, so we can get more powers. Yeah. Okay, so different changing bending radius, I see. Yes. Great. And then, so you mentioned applications for this industrially. Is that the main area you're looking at, or are there other um, application possibilities? Uh, right now, we are looking for the uh, some uh, wireless sensor network is the most of uh, big factories. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And also, right now, we are working with some wearable device companies. Uh, when you make a smaller uh, band type, mm -hmm. we can get the uh, electrical power from body temperature. Okay. So sure. we can use that powers uh, mm -hmm. as a uh, as a power source for a wearable device. And what kind of power can you get? Because obviously this is a much larger temperature gradient than yes, with a yes. wearable. How how much difference in the power generation can you get? This is a bit small. Okay. You, you, right now we can get only a small powers, but uh, just a uh, that's enough power to operating the uh, electrical watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just around uh, one milliwatt. Okay. Yeah, from uh, 40 square centimeters areas. Yeah. One milliwatt, 40 square yeah. centimeters. Okay. And do you need a heat sink in those devices, or would it work differently? Yeah, just uh, a metal band. Okay. We can use that metal band as a uh, heat sink. Okay, great. So yeah. in multiple applications, not just in industrial. But are there any other spaces? Things like I can imagine in maybe the automotive sector or things like that. Or is or is it more about yeah, remote yeah, correct, monitoring? Correct. Uh, this is generation uh, functions, but we can use this device as a, a cooler. So right now we are working with some uh, applications for cooler, for example, automotive, mm -hmm. and also uh, operator. Okay. Temperature control clothing, uh, and uh, that's a, we invented new uh, applications. Uh, that's called the uh, thermal haptics. Thermal haptics wow. for VR, AR, or games. So we put on our device on the uh, game controller. Okay. So that depends on uh, co with the contents, mm -hmm. the hard and cold we express. Oh, I uh, see. Temperature. So yeah. Thermal haptics is an area that I've yeah, yeah, wanted areas. So yes. you get tactile haptics, keen aesthetic, yes. but thermal is really a very much like yeah. a groundbreaking new area. Yeah. So it's great to hear this work being done in Korea. And, and, and thanks very much for, for walking us through this presentation. Uh, so I guess this is, this is a sort of picture of the, the PCB and the device that we've seen, the transmitter with the sensors. Yes. And, and you sort of have other images of this around your booth here. So um, great. I, I think, thank you very much yeah, for taking you. the time to speak to us today. And, yeah. and, and how have you, how's been your experience at the IDTech show? Have you met some good contacts? How's it been here? How, uh, how's the show been for you? 
this first this time, event, yeah, yeah, this first the exhibitions to mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. So we are looking for the uh, the possibility of uh, our business. This is a marketable or not? I want to check that. Yeah, yeah, and that's a really good chance to us. Yeah, yeah, so our validating the market. Do you think it is going to be successful? How, how are you getting some yeah. interest? Yeah, Excellent. I believe it. Great. Thank yeah. you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you.